Now, with a track like you keep me hanging on, which yeah, it's just, just the list of the tracks. It's just the list of the tracks. It's an amateur. He right. hasn't been at it very long. I've come from warm sheets to do this interview, you know, I don't you? That. Yes, and you done it well after the party last night. Um, Four hours sleep. Pardon, how many hours sleep? Four. We went to bed at seven. It's now five. Seven. Well, it took me five hours to get ready. I see. Um, the band itself, over the last eight months, have become not only tight, I mean, they're one of the... It's 20% improvement, and I never thought it could be improved. You must be really happy with the band. Yeah, it's, it's probably come about because we've made an album together. Yeah. You know, and uh, the fact that you record in a studio and you realise that perhaps you weren't as tight as you should have been. And plus the fact that it's, it's eight months later, you know. But they are tight. They haven't bought me a drink for months. <laughs> <laughs> They're very much part of you and you're very much part of them all. That's the impression I got last night. Yeah, I think they, they brought out probably the best in me. Yeah. The best that there is. Uh, not only on stage, but certainly on the record. I mean, yeah. I, I think there's a marked difference, not only in the choice of material and the lyrics, but even the sound quality of the record, I think. But that's down to Andy Johns. I yeah. think we had the best engineer in the world with Andy Johns. Well, I was reading the, the review in one of the papers, the New York papers, after your first concert at Madison Square, mm. and they were saying how you were able to retain rock and roll, even though you had lived in, lived in Los Angeles for two years. Um, did Hollywood or Los Angeles or any of that have any great effect on you, do you think? Yeah, I don't think I could have written that uh, half the songs on that, that album if I'd have stayed in London, lived in London. I, I needed a change of environment. And uh, I believe Los Angeles is the capital of rock and roll. Um, with the time you'd spent in Los Angeles, especially yeah. last year, uh, that perhaps you were being swept away with the... Uh, no, the tinsel? Well, you I must have read know, that, I don't though. really even live there that much. I'm yeah. probably there three months out of the year. But had you read those sort of things in the yeah. papers? Yeah, and who believes anything you read in the papers anyway? Yeah. It's all rubbish. Um, back to the album. Again, you've got a nerve. Mm. What's that song all about? Well, it has got nothing to do with Brit whatsoever. No. I mean, that's just about somebody that's been left in the lurch by a woman and she runs off with a rich friend and then comes back and expects to be welcomed back and she's not. And that's yeah. the end of it. It's that simple. There's nothing more you can read into that one. OK, you kept me hanging on. Um, when you performed in Australia, at, and you just sort of rehearsed the band before that and got together with the band, uh, that track uh, was one that you featured on the Australian concert. Uh, on the, the show last night, and especially on the album, that, that track really works now, whereas I was sort of, and a lot of other people thought that, why is Rod doing you keep me hanging on, you know? But last well, night, it's sensational. Yeah, well, we've embroidered on it a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole that uh, John plays that classical introduction, yes. and then there's that segue, which links it up to the next number. Right. I think we've just done it a bit more than the fudge did it. Yeah. You know? Which we had to do, otherwise there'd be no point in recording it. But I think it's, it now belongs to me, that song. It doesn't belong to Dinah Ross anymore. Yeah, well, yeah. That, yeah. Hot legs. Uh, yeah. Was that a purpose? Main interest in life. Right. Was that but was that a purpose or thing of going back to real rock and roll of the of the Rod Stewart we knew a long time ago? Well, I don't really think I've ever made good rock and roll. On all the albums, I think nine albums I've made, solo albums, I don't think I've ever made good rock and roll. What I call good rock and roll anyway. Uh, this is as near as I've ever come. I was in, uh, interviewing uh, Carol Bayer Sega and we were talking about her being a songwriter. She's not a bad looking girl, is she? She's fantastic. In fact, one of the most stunning. Um, and I was talking about her songwriting and saying, you know, that obviously with her lyrics, they're so personal. I was only joking, it's probably one of the best set of lyrics. Well, I was going to say, I was only joking, which is actually the last yeah. track on side two, yeah. is, um, is quite a cutting one, actually. Yeah, and uh, You're In My Heart, which is, you can either say is about football or about women. Yeah. I leave that up to the uh, listeners to decide that.